What is going on, online fitness coaches? Welcome to another episode of the Change Lives and Make Money Online Training Podcast. This is the number one show for online fitness coaches who are trying to grow a successful online business. In today's episode, we are talking, we are actually live at the gym, uh, at Iron Energy Gym, um, which was previously Gravity Fitness in West Kelowna. And today is a big day because today is the day that like our entire vision comes to life. Um, so I, uh, it's really cool um, being here at this gym right now, thinking about the fact that like, this is, uh, I, I'm a part owner of this facility and I want to kind of take you guys way back to seven years ago um, and then kind of like progress to like how it feels to actually be in the gym that I own. Um, it's, it's a fucking surreal feeling. So seven years ago, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know the story, but I was like heavily addicted to substances. Like I was doing drugs like three to seven days of the week. When I wasn't doing drugs, I was sleeping and um, I was partying all the time. And I basically like was, was at a point where I was 23 years old, 22 years old. And I was like rock bottom. I had to decide like I need to get better from here or I'm going to end up in jail or I'm going to end up dead. So from that point, I remember my rock bottom moment when I sat down and I kind of realized I'm like, I need to make a change. I worked at a summer camp and I started working on this vision. <clears throat> now, a big component of this vision um, that I, I always wanted, like one of the biggest reasons that I wanted to start Aesthetic Nation, which was my online fitness coaching business in the first place, was I wanted a community. Like I wanted to be able to bring people together. I wanted a place where I could like, you know, host uh, events. Like I just wanted a community. I wanted like a family. And I felt like for me, fitness was always this like super lonely journey. Like I was the only one that was exercising and eating healthy out of my friend group. And so I always felt like... I always felt like the weird one. I always felt like the outcast, but I knew that there were other people out there that were into fitness as well. I just didn't know where they were. And so I just figured, I'm like, if I can start this community, if I can start Aesthetic Nation at first, and then as Aesthetic Nation grows, if I can turn Aesthetic Nation into a gym, like eventually I'll have a community and it'll all be like, it'll all be in the same place and it'll be, and I'll like, I'll run it and I'll do youth mentorship programs. Like it was always something that I wanted to do. But I think as my life progressed, um, like aesthetic nation was something that I was really passionate about. That was my fitness coaching business. And I ran that for four years, but as my life progressed, I think I kind of forgot about owning a gym. Like I just kind of like became one of those things that I put on the back burner. And even though it was on my vision and even though it was something that I wrote down that I wanted to accomplish, it's almost like it became less important than my day-to-day -day tasks. Like I had online training clients that I was serving and I was running my business and <clears throat> my podcast was doing really well. And it just kind of like, I just kind of forgot about it. Uh, I just didn't really think about it anymore. And even though it was written down on the sheet of paper as something that I always wanted, like one of my bigger dreams, like one of my larger scale goals, it was something that became not as important as my day-to-day -day tasks. But it's funny because I think that, um, in life in general, this is something that I, I fundamentally believe. I think when you pursue excellence at whatever it is that you're trying to do, that shit unfolds for you in the right, in the right direction and in the right way. And so for me, because I had this like dream of owning a gym, it was something that I really wanted, even though I wasn't focused on it because I was pursuing excellence in my other things. Like I was pursuing excellence in my physique. So like, um, I've done five co competitions in the last couple of years. I uh, was going to do a competition this year, obviously got canceled because of COVID. Uh, I was training for a show. I got shredded. So I was pursuing excellence in my physique. I was pursuing excellence in my business, uh, in my relationship, I pursue excellence. So I like really try my very best to be the best possible partner that I can possibly be. I think when you pursue excellence at whatever it is that you want to do or whatever it is that you're currently doing, that shit starts to unfold for you. And so here I was running PT domination and this happened like three months ago, running PT Dom, like literally completely minding my own business, like had no intentions of owning up a gym, opening up a gym. And I get a call from Brett Godin, who I'm sure a lot of you guys know, Phoenix Fitness. Do you guys know who Phoenix Fitness is? Um, so Brett Godin was one of my previous clients and now he's one of my good friends. He calls me, he's like, bro, it's like, I got an opportunity for you um, and, and I need an answer because one of my partners is not as trustworthy as I thought he was. And I need somebody to go in on this with me, somebody that I can trust and I trust you. Like, how do you feel about this? And uh, this was something that like, I kind of like, you know, I always wanted, I didn't know if it was like a good move or I didn't know if it was the right time or I, but like something in my gut just said yes. And so um, after like seven years ago, writing it down on a piece of paper that I wanted to open up my own gym, 
And then seven years later, this like random phone call unfolds at the right time in the right moment. And it just becomes the right opportunity. I'm like, okay, like, let's fucking do it. Um, and like, you guys got to like, no, like I have no idea. <laughs> like, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. I have no idea how to run a gym, like zero clue. Um, I have an idea of how to run a business because I've ran two successful businesses now. Like Aesthetic Nation, I got it to $54,000 a month. Um, PT Domination, we took it to $2 million in sales last year. So I know how to run successful businesses. But when it comes to running a gym, like I've never ran a gym before. And so um, I think that for me, it was like being willing to step into this like uncomfortable role, being willing to step into this like in, into this fear, into this like uncertainty, like what's going to happen if, you know, like what's going to happen when I'm running this gym, what's going to happen when things go wrong that I don't really understand. So like, it's it's being willing to step into that um but that was three months ago and now like when we took over the gym one of the first things we did is we created this like big vision so we're like okay like what do we want the gym to look like what do we want the gym to be like what are, what are the core values of the gym um you know what are the renovations that we're going to do uh you know what kind of equipment are we going to get uh what, what are the walls going to look like how are we going to make this different and so some of the things that we did to make it different is we colored the walls black, red, and white. So like now there's like a different energy. It's a different vibe when you walk into the gym. We also did some demolitions inside of the gym. So we took down a couple walls and we created a lot more space inside the gym. So like that came to life. And then we decided we wanted to make it different by painting a mural. And so we painted a mural in our gym. And if you're watching this right now, you can see the mural that we painted in the gym. It's completely unique. It's completely different. And it causes us to stand out from everybody else. But then we're like, dude, if we're going to own this gym, like, let's take this to the next level. Let's not just purchase the gym. Let's get all brand new equipment for the entire gym. Because if we want to stand out, if we want to be phenomenal, if we want to be one of the best gyms in Western Canada, then we need to position ourselves like that by going all in on the gym. And like, that's something that I do. Everything, every single thing that I do in my life, I go all in. Every single thing. If I'm going all in, like, if I'm like pursuing my fitness goals, I'm like fucking all in. Like if I'm like going hard with my fitness goals, I'm like I'm going to compete. And not only am I going to compete, I want to win the show. Like that's how my mindset works. And when I'm going into business, like when I started my podcast, I'm like, not only am I going to start a podcast, but I'm going to start a podcast. I'm going to figure out who's the best in my industry right now. And I'm going to make sure that I'm producing at a higher level and that I have more episodes than that person. Like that's like my goal is to be the very best at everything that I do. So all in, like not only do I want the gym, but I also want all the brand new equipment and I want to go all in with that. And I think that a lot of people when it comes to accomplishing their goals don't operate like that. In fact, most people are just kind of like dipping their foot in the pool. Like online trainers will want to be successful at growing their online business. And so they'll post three times a week. And it's like, bro, why? Like, why would you do something if you're not trying to be phenomenal at it? Why would you do something if you're not trying to pursue excellence? If you're not trying to be your very best? Right. Like that's, that's the way that my mindset works. It's like, I want to do something and I want to go all in. So iron energy for us was all in. So here we are. Um, it is, uh, it is March. It is March 18th. Um, and I'm standing in my gym right now. And I wanted to kind of, I wanted to do this podcast live in the gym. I wanted to record this episode um, because I wanted to capture how I'm feeling in this moment uh, and how it feels to purchase my first big, like, like brick and mortar facility, uh, my first big gym. Uh, it's a fucking surreal feeling. Um, it's a surreal feeling to know that like, Seven years ago, I was a drug addict, and 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 seven years later, I'm a gym owner. It's a surreal feeling to know that, like, when I was building my business in Calgary, there were so many fucking people that had so much negative shit to say to me, and I just kept my head down and I kept working, and now I own a gym. It's a surreal feeling to know that, like, no matter what anybody thought or like how crazy my dreams were when I was starting my online coaching business and how like obnoxious they were and how like how like outrageous my goals were that like now, like seven years later, here I am standing in actual physical evidence that like my like visions come to life. Uh, it's a surreal feeling to know that like not only is it like the coolest part for me about this gym. The coolest fucking part is all of the partners that I'm working with right now. Like I'm working with uh, Cole and Morgan and Brett and Amy. And, and like the coolest fucking part about this whole thing is like because I pursued my dream, right? Like because seven years ago I made the commitment to fucking go all into myself. I like I, I was like I'm going all in like I'm fucking going for this. Like I'm doing this like that decision to go all in on my, on my dream and, and, and the thing that I want to do 
has unfolded to so many other opportunities that has led me to a social circle full of people that are doing the same thing. Like that, that decision to go all in caused me to meet Cole and mentor Cole and, and bring him on to be a business partner of mine. And now Cole and I are fucking running shit together. Like that decision to go all in, let me to meet, let led me to meet Brett and Amy and Brett and Amy are hustlers. And I helped them take their business from like 20 K to 50 K a month. And now we're able to like, get a gym together, like because of my decision to go all in. And so when I decided to go all in seven years ago, I made the, like, not only did I level up my own life seven years ago, but I also elevated the lives of everybody around me. And that's the coolest fucking part about this whole gym. And that's the coolest part about this experience. And now, and now that I, that, that I'm a part owner of iron energy gym in West Kelowna, now that I'm a part owner, I get the opportunity to do this at like a community level on a bigger scale. Cause I think that like online, I think like I, I, I'm blessed to know that like my, my presence is like felt online. Like right now I've got like, you know, 25, 30 people listening on clubhouse. There's a few people on TikTok. There's a few people on Instagram. There's a few people on Facebook and I'm blessed. There's like, there's like 70 people listening to me recording this live right now. And I'm blessed to know that my online impact is fucking big. And now in Kelowna, I get it like cause that level of impact in my community. Like I'm running a youth mentorship program for 14 to 18 year old boys and helping them become successful. And I'm seeing transformations in these young youth and I'm seeing them become more confident and self-assured and, and goal driven and like bigger and stronger and like, and a, and a stronger mentality. And it's because of my decision to go all in. And so like, that's like, the, that's the most rewarding feeling. And now I know that like when, by building this gym and creating this community inside of Kelowna and like, it's not just me, it's also every other owner that I have on, like that is like on the team and we're all in this together and we're all pushing this forward like we want to make a massive statement in Kelowna and West Kelowna and we want to bring a positive ripple effect to this community and that's it really is um I feel talking about it feels like strange but I'm just trying to own it because this is my truth um, this is like, it feels uncomfortable to, to say this, but like, this is my gym. I fucking did this. I created this. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is like something that I always wanted. This is a vision that I wrote down and it's like, now it's here. And so like, and, 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 and I want to do this podcast. I want to do this podcast and I want to record this to let you know about something. All right. It's like, if you have a fucking dream. If you have, if you have ambitions, if you have goals, if you have things that you want to accomplish, like write them fucking down and commit to excellence in the thing that you're trying to do. I love that there's sounds going on in the background too. That's the best part about this. But like, here's, here's the thing, right? It's like, I, I want to talk about success for a second because there's a lot of you guys that might, <clears throat> you might be like listening to this right now and you're like, okay, I want to own a gym, Brian. I want to own a gym. So you're like, write down, I'm going to own a gym one day or I'm going to make $10,000 a month. And so you write this goal down. Um, and you're like, I'm going to do this. But then at your current job right now, I'm going to be straight. You're lazy as fuck, but you want to own a gym one day. And it's like, if you're lazy as shit at like your accounting job, what makes you think that you're going to be a successful gym owner? And so there's so many people that are like trying to be successful at, you know, owning a gym, running an online business, whatever it is, but they don't even like, they're not even doing their job that they don't like well. And they're not even on top of like the small things. Like they don't even clean their fucking house. That's like, if you can't even keep your, clean, keep your house clean, if you can't even take care of your physical body, what makes you think you're going to run an organization that has 20 to 50 people working for it? Right. And so, so it starts with the, it's like, it starts with excellence in the fucking small things, right? It's like everything you do, you need to be excellent at. And it doesn't matter if you're the fucking janitor or if you're the manager, or if you're the owner, you need to pursue excellence at whatever it is that you're trying to do because excellence is a habit, right? Excellence is a habit. And so if you can, if you can commit to excellence in one thing, then as you start to progress in your life and you start to get promotions and you start to get opportunities because you committed to excellence at being a fucking janitor, it's going to be a lot easier to be excellent when you take over the company. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So that's it. That's it. That's all I got. Um, it's a surreal feeling, uh, knowing that this is my gym. It's, it's humbling. Uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. I fucking love it. And, and I can't wait to uh, use this gym as a platform to uh, impact more humans. Um, that's what I'm most excited for. So if you're listening to this right now and you're in the Tanky Coaching Academy, I want to fucking meet you and I want you to come to my gym.
right? If you're listening to this right now and you're in Kelowna, I want you to come to the gym and I want you to experience the energy, right? I want you to experience the energy. I want you to come here and I want you, you'll feel it. When you walk in, you'll feel it with the staff members, with the vibe, with the energy. Like it's, a, it's, the, it's the essence. It's that presence. It's like we're all here to make this place better. It's like this isn't just a facility to us. This is like an opportunity to impact. That's the cool part about it. All right? I think that's it. I think that's all I got. We got some, we got some horns going on in the background. We got some crazy shit happening. I'm super excited. Life's fucking good. All right. Life is fucking good. So thank you so much for tuning in. This is the change lives make money online training podcast. The number one show for online fitness coaches who are trying to go successful online business. I wanted to come on here and speak about how I'm feeling in this moment right now, having this gym. And I thought it would be such a cool opportunity, such a cool opportunity to um, capture this moment forever. And I was going to sleep last night and I'm like, yo, I want to record the podcast live at the gym because in four years time from now, I want to go back and listen to that podcast and hear how I felt in that moment. And like, remember the moment where I was like standing in front of my fucking fridge at my gym talking about how, how I just, how I just, uh, I just did something that I've always wanted to do. So this, vis- this vision, this vision coming to life is, is real shit. All right. So dream big, pursue your goals, pursue your passions and brush your fucking teeth with excellence, all right? Peace, love, protein. I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Let's go.